Hi, everyone. We are expecting a big crowd today. We have quite a few folks who are still joining us. So we will be with you in about two more minutes to get this party started. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us, everyone, and welcome to the Cybersecurity Revolution. My name is Amber Colson, Event Marketing Manager with Newspire. I know you're all interested in our big announcement, so I'll keep my remarks here brief. Just a few logistical items today. Today's presentation should last between 30 and 45 minutes. I've seen the content, and I'm fairly confident you may have some questions. You can send those in at any time during the presentation using the chat panel on screen. We'll collect them and address them at the end. Some of you may also qualify to receive some fun gifts today. If you're a lucky recipient, watch for an email from Amanda Costanzi in the next few days. Before I turn it over to our CEO, Louis Densworth, we have a quick video we'd like to share with you that will help tee up today's big announcement. So if you bear with me for just one second, we will kick that off for you. Just imagine a world in cybersecurity where you could see your entire security program in one single pane of glass, where visibility, tools, and expertise are at your fingertips, an operating system that finally puts you in control. As a former security leader, I know how unrealistic that sounds. I understand the anxiety of not having the flight controls I needed to fly my program in the right direction. A provider is always telling me what to do instead of listening and really understanding my problems. It's time for a significant change, a cybersecurity revolution that rebuilds the industry around you and your needs. When I walked in your shoes as a security leader in my organization, I needed to bring clarity to the chaos while also being comfortable knowing things always got significantly better on my watch. It wasn't easy. And it wasn't always easy to find a provider that really understood what I was going through. That's why I, Louis Dunsworth, joined Newspire's CEO to provide services to you in a way I wish they would have always been provided to me. Our objective is simple, to make our clients, our professional family, fanatically happy with our services. In order to do so, we pledge to get rid of the chaos and complexity and make everything that we do crystal clear to meet the client where they are at and support them with what they need. Not just say we're client-centric, but we will put ourselves in our client's shoes and we'll build trust through action. We will be human and own when we aren't perfect, but respond like we should be. And we'll provide a solution that accounts for the entire picture, no more band-aids. And always remember that people are not only part of the program, but the cornerstone of it. That is our commitment to you. A better future in cybersecurity. And the best part, the future is here today. Introducing my new Spire, the operating system that gives you a groundbreaking new way to experience your security program in one single pane of glass. It allows you to leverage new Spire's best in class security services and gives you direct access to a team of cybersecurity experts. 
It brings visibility of all your technology into one solution, puts on-demand threat intelligence in your hands, and architects a blueprint of what you need to do to become more secure and gives you the ability to customize that experience. All of it is powered by us, but always customized for you. We are changing the cybersecurity experience forever. Are you ready to join the revolution? All right, Louie, let me bring up your slides and I'll turn it over to you. Man, I'll tell you what, it gives me chills every time I see that, but I'll tell you one thing. Um, you know, a lot of my experiences are, are rooted in a, a long career of not only providing services, but more importantly, being on the client side and actually consuming security services. So really happy to be with everybody today. I, I hope everyone's excited uh, to see what, we, what we're about to share with everybody. This is our uh, launch of our My Newspire platform. I'll, I'll get to more of that here in a moment, but I think I would be remiss if I didn't publicly acknowledge uh, all the team that, you know, teamwork and all the work and effort that went into uh, the launch of the platform today. I think uh, once you guys see it and feel it and touch it, you understand how much thoughtful work went into it and how much time and energy and expertise went into the platform. So I can't thank my team enough. Uh, for all the work that they did and all the sacrifices they uh, made in order to bring something that, you know, when I came to Newspire a year and a half ago, it was just kind of a, a gleam in my eye uh, that today is a reality. So once again, thank you to my team. Uh, on the agenda for today, uh, we'll talk a little bit about why are we here, you know, as far as, you know, why is anything I say important to any of you and, um, you know, the credibility that I have from the industry and everything from that perspective. It doesn't have to be this way. And when I say it doesn't have to be this way, we believe that there are better solutions to tackle cybersecurity problems today. And we believe that today starts that revolution. And I'll talk more about what I mean by revolutionary uh, later on in the presentation than ultimately the platform that we're about to announce with my newsfire and show you is only going to get better the more that people use it. So really welcome all of you to, you know, once the webinar is completed today, get on there, play around, test the system, challenge us, ask questions, whatever it may be, because I think you're going to find a lot of value uh, in what you see. So who am I? Um, as a cybersecurity leader, I've been in your shoes. I, I, I've always uh, talked about a very colorful past. I didn't grow up in cybersecurity as, uh, you know, through the ranks. I started my career in telecom where I learned a lot about operations. You know, ironically, uh, people want dial tone, you know, and, and when you learn operations within a telecom or tel in the telecommunications industry, you realize how important that operational rigor is. I built security programs, one from the ground up at h &R Block and one that was multifaceted at Cerner. So I've actually walked and lived in your shoes. I've consumed millions of dollars of services through my career and consumed million or made uh, millions of dollars of technology investments. I understand uh, the pressures that are on uh, the chief information security officer today and other security leaders. And I have also been on the provider side. You know, I've been, I've led services functions at both Optiv and the Hershey Beck, Beck Group. I personally spent probably thousands of hours consulting with probably 500 different security leaders uh, around North America. So I, I haven't only walked in your shoes, but I've actually consulted uh, with a lot of practitioners as well. So that's a little bit about me. So hopefully, uh, hopefully what you're about to see and when I talk about in your shoes experience, uh, take it, take it to heart because I really did. Uh, we really did build this platform with the security leader in mind. We do, just to kind of give you a summary of Newspire, we do what other MSSPs, but I believe we do it better. You know, if you think about 
Uh, we will always be a managed security services provider. It, you know, my news fire that you're about to see is just icing on the cake as far as I'm concerned, but we offer uh, services within four different pillars. We focus on ag uh, excellence, we're technology agnostic, we develop partnerships. The bottom line is we focus on being really good at what we do. But we also recognize that clients got to get better over time. So we have consultative services that help clients really improve their security programs and improve their maturity over time. And then ultimately, leveraging our in-your-shoes experience, we actually meet the client where they're at. And we basically provide that ex executive sponsorship to help our clients to achieve their goals. The problem is, you know, clients kept on asking things we couldn't do. They kept on asking us to do things that we weren't great at. So we recognize that doing what others do better is simply not good enough. Clients still were struggling to secure their programs. They were still struggling to help them, their businesses be more protected. So we took a hard look at us and the rest of the industry. And we noticed that there were very, very, very strong systemic issues that we have dealt with for decades and they've never been solved. The first thing is focusing on everything equals focusing on nothing. And what I mean by that is that a lot of security providers will try and do everything for everybody. We recognize at Newspire, we simply can't be great at everything, but we're going to be great at we, what we choose to do. And we're going to partner with others that are great at what they do. We recognize that there's an arm, arms race in technology. I mean, there is so many different types of technologies out there that do a variety of different things and solve a variety of different problems. Everybody telling you that their technology solves that problem and the other technology company says, well, I solve that problem better. But at the end of the day, we recognize that in order to improve the, the industry, we had to to have something, a tool, a platform, a technology that allowed those technologies to work better together. The next thing we saw was a lot of us, uh, you know, traditionally within the managed security services industry, wanted to fit clients into a box or standardize, standardize, standardize operations and all the procedures that you use for particular clients. And what we've recognized is that in order for us to be successful for the client, and give them the value that they need, we needed to customize that experience for them. And then we had this post-incident drama, this told you so mentality, this shaming almost of which if someone made a mistake or chose to address one risk versus another and ended up getting their hand slapped because of a breach or incident, the industry is the first one to stand up and say, my technology could have solved that problem or if you would have done this, you wouldn't have had that problem, et cetera. The bottom line is it's a tough job. And a lot of security leaders and practitioners make decisions that seem the best at that point in time. It's not always that they made a uh, egregious decision. The fact is uh, sometimes they just make bad decisions or they make the wrong decision. It doesn't mean that you're a bad security leader. Technology sprawl is a real problem. When you talk about some tech, some um, organizations out there that have uh, dozens of technologies deployed in their environment, it's not only difficult the sprawl itself, seeing you know, knowing day to day what you actually have in your environment with the visibility, but how do you know whether or not those technologies are actually operating effectively? It's a real problem in the industry. And because of that, I, t I think we tend to glamorize the event versus the issue. And what I mean by that is that as you know, one of the services we offer is MDR, Managed Detection and Response. We process events and escalate them back to the client on a daily basis for anything that's suspicious or malicious within their environment. But we knew that in order for us to evolve and to get better and serve the client base in a different way, we had to start not only not only take care of the event, but we had to start bubbling up the issues. You know, 10 events equals some sort of bad issue. What can they do to prevent those events from happening in the future? Where, you know, the scarce resources uh, problem is not new to anybody. I mean, it comes down to, you know, when you say people having the right types of skill sets that you need in order to 
move your program forward. But also from a technology standpoint, having the dollars uh, that can get you the technology that you need to be successful. And then ultimately, we have this dependency. I mean, e even when I was walking in air shoes, I almost had a dependency for the provider for everything, meaning that I would go to, a, you know, I like the one stop shops because I could go in there and I basically had one throat to choke uh, if any of my services went, uh, went the wrong way. But the bottom line is that providers simply cannot be great at everything. And we recognize that. And in order to move forward, we knew we needed to have a platform that allowed you to procure services outside of Newspire that were best in class or best in breed. And then also we have outdated frameworks. A lot of these frameworks that we leverage across the industry from ISO to NIST to um, PCI, whatever it may be, even when they're updated, they're outdated. Uh, meaning that, you know, with the way that we process a lot of these frameworks, by the time they're approved and released for general release, a lot, a lot of time has passed between the, the time they got comments to the point to they actually released the framework. And a lot of these frameworks have been around for a few decades. And the bottom line is we focus more on the compliance than the security. And we think we need to flip that script and start focusing more on the security versus the compliance. And then ultimately, point in time security. There are simply too many surprises when you do point in time security. We need to develop a platform that allowed, gave you real time insights and real time recommendations into everything that your program is doing. So we knew the problems and we came to a conclusion. There had to be a better experience and I emphasize experience here for security leaders. So in, we're, we're introducing my new Spire. It's truly the first single pane of glass operating system for your security program. We designed it with the intention in mind of being that one stop virtual stop for your entire security program. It'll have a customized experience. We're introducing the concepts of personas Well, you'll be able to go in based upon who you are and what you do in your organization, you'll be able to personalize the experience for you. It's built with self-service in mind. And what I mean by that is we as a society, whether it's on the technology side of the coin or even just general society has got used to self-service. Each one of us download apps to our phone. We're getting used to procuring services online, whatever it may be. So self-service within the industry needs to be the path forward. We're gonna be extremely data-driven. The more data that you give us, the more fidelity and enrichment that we can provide you, the better insights and recommendations we can provide you. We built a data model in order to accommodate that. And then finally, we're technology agnostic. In the end, we would love for you to use Newspire services, but we also recognize that clients will come to us in all shapes and sizes and at different points in the maturity or the journey of their program, whatever it may be, and we wanted to create a way that regardless of the technology that you bring to the table, that you could integrate it into my new Spire and get that single pane of glass. See all your technologies in one place, at least at the very least, know exactly what you have and where you need to get better. But we knew in order to accomplish my new Spire, we had to have an industry leading next generation platform. So we introduced the CyberX platform. It's built on a 100% modern technology stack. What's that mean? We're not using any antiquated technologies. So if there's any services or technologies that you've used that have been around for five or six years, we built everything that we use in my new Spire and a modern, modern tech stack. We have infinite scale. It was born in the cloud. So by nature, we have the ability to scale and we have infinite ideas. And what I mean by that, we built the platform knowing that everybody was going to be different. Everyone was going to have different ideas. Everyone would want to accomplish something different with the platform. So we wanted to make sure that it was designed in a way to accommodate that. It's modular plug and play technology. So that's important on two different sites. Number one, if we have something part of our modern tech stack that becomes antiquated in a couple of years, we basically unplug it, plug in something new and move on with best best in um, class experience for all of our clients. It also means that if you choose to switch out technologies, 
the ability to switch from one endpoint to another endpoint technology or one SIM to another SIM technology is really easy to do within the platform. In order to make all of that possible, we had to have a multifunctional API. We had to assume that clients would come to us with a variety of different technologies, a variety of different services. So the infrastructure that we built for our, our APIs can accommodate pretty much anything that you throw at us. And like I said before, self-service was key to everything that we do. And I'll, talk, I'll touch more about how simple things have to be in order for self-service to be a reality. Um, but self-service was core, a core principle that we set out to achieve with the platform. Dynamic and real-time data analytics. Not only are we going to take data in to learn more about you and marry that up with threat intel and program data and everything of that nature, but as we move forward and as new Spire clients start to feed us different alerts, we'll be able to basically move their program based upon not only what we're seeing, but the threats in the land, uh, threats out there, and also where they're at in their program journey. So, really dynamic, real-time data analytics model behind the scenes, which enables real-time partnership. You want a true extension of your security program? That's us. That could be our new Spire services by leveraging the my new Spire platform, or it could be um, you just using the platform in order to get a better experience for your own internal security program. In the end. We're either an extension of your program from a services perspective or a platform perspective, but then at the end of the day, we want it to be really infused within your day-to-day -day operations. And it's also deeply integrated with NewSpire operations. This is a platform that not only that we extend to our clients, but we're also using internally. It's a lot of the things that we use behind the scenes, not only to provide our clients with the best in class experience, but it also allows us to evolve and uh, do uh, uh, basically provide services to the industry in a very new and creative way. So very powerful underpinnings to everything that we're talking about today. But in order to evolve the platform, I have this single pane of glass. I have the underpinnings of the CyberX platform that allows me to do a lot of creative things. At the end of the day, we needed to know or we needed to provide value right out of the gate. The best way that we could do that was to introduce real time, actionable threat intelligence. You know, if you go somewhere, if you buy a threat model engagement today, you'll spend thousands of dollars. And that's a point in time. We like I said before, we don't believe in point in time security. This is real time, actionable threat intelligence that so we are able to provide by collecting business information about you. Right out of the gate, we get an idea of the industry you're in and we can throw you, uh, provide you threat intelligence with your first view into the My New Spire platform. We'll examine your industry makeup. We'll leverage our own threat research and a lot of different threat intelligence resor resources paired up with MITRE ATT&CK to ultimately create for you a bespoke or custom real-time threat model for your organization. But we will also evaluate, based upon the data you give us, your defenses versus the threats you're up against, which I'll talk more about here in the sec second with our security program. And then ultimately we'll provide recommendations. And then we will provide or track your progress over time. So ultimately, providing real-time threat intelligence that you can have that you can take action on and we can actually show your progress over time on how you're making your security program better but going back to what i just said to make your security program better it's just not about the technical side and the threats and the defenses and your ability to protect yourself it's also taking a very strategic and forward thinking view of your security program. So we developed the new Spire security program, which basically will provide for you a custom security program blueprint with once again, real time recommendations. You give us the data, we're gonna provide recommendations, not only based upon uh, who you are, but the industry you're in, where all of our years of experience we believe you need to be and allow you to measure your progress over time. That includes a very robust self-service assessment questionnaire. Well, we will simply walk you through 10 different domains to help you understand how to get better, 
the attributes of a good uh, security program within that domain. And you can see how you progress or how you compare to, uh, you know, where we believe you should be from an industry standpoint in real time once you finish the self-assessment questionnaire. It's built on decades of cybersecurity experience. If you understood the data model behind our threat modeling tool and also this new Spire security program, you would be amazed at the amount of work that went in to pair up threats with recommendations and also program uh, components and domains with recommendations based upon everything that you have going on with your particular program. The objective is a 100% focus on improving your security uh, over time. So we, we are here to help you get better. Going back to my comments that I made earlier about this whole concept of uh, processing the event versus the issue. We, this is where we really help you understand those macro conditions that are actually driving either success or failure within your security program. This is where we'll also document the defenses you have in, in place or the security controls, the technology, the administrative controls, whatever it may be, to help you understand where you have gaps. And based upon what we're seeing on the threats you're up against and what we're seeing in the industry and where you need to be, we're gonna provide you recommendations on how to improve. And ultimately, like I said before, we're gonna track that maturity across different 10 different domains and actually provide you real-time insights and recommendations. So very powerful stuff here for anybody that's trying to understand uh, what their threat model looks like, how to improve their security program with, uh, I guess you could say, ex you know, recommendations and insights powered by a lot of people at Newspire, subject matter experts, even myself that have walked in your shoes, uh, providing uh, recommendations on how to get better in different areas. And the best part is it's all in one solution. Uh, you know, my Newspire was built, like I said before, to actually help our clients become more secure. And I think we did achieve that. Now, this is just step one you know, in our evolution as from a platform perspective. There's a lot of things coming that I'll talk about here in a moment, but uh, I, can't, uh, I can't emphasize how great a lot of this data that you can glean out of the platform today just by signing up, getting in there, poke around, play around, really test the system out and, and learn something about yourself and learn who's trying to attack you, learn where you can improve your security program. That is our gift to you right out of the gate to make sure that we can help the industry progress forward in a smarter, more effective manner. So everybody's been talking to me, well, or saying to me, Louie, what, what do you mean by revolution? Um, you know, revolutionary is a pretty strong term. And I got to ask, by quite a few of the peers in my industry, well, what do you mean by revolutionary? And I thought I would spend a few minutes to walk through what it means to me, what it means to Newspire, and what it means to our future and the vision of where we're going with the My Newspire platform. The bottom line is that revolutions are necessary when something is not working or something is important enough, it just has to happen. We need to be honest with ourselves. Our industry has not been successful in how we approach the problems. We've tried, we've evolved, and a lot of us, including myself, have invested a lot of time, energy, even careers in trying to make a difference. But I'm a results guy. And frankly, the past few decades, decades have proven that we need to take a different approach, an approach, a mindset that I hope and believe will revolutionize the industry. First and foremost, it's how we're thinking about solving the problems, how Newspire is thinking about solving the problems. We're looking at it specifically from the mindset of the security leader. I've walked in your shoes. What do, you, what, what do our clients need? What do they like? What helps them be more successful? The ultimate objective is to put ourselves in, our, in their shoes and make sure that we're meeting where they need us to be, not where we believe they need to be, but where they are at today. We're not a traditional MSSP. We move beyond the reactive and are now focused on helping our clients become more secure and actually more proactive with their programs. The days of reactive are have gone the way of the dodo. They are gone. We have got to be more proactive with these with our programs as we move forward. In fact, how many MSSPs do you know? 
that use their technology program or platform to improve their security program. Essentially, we eat our own dog food and we wouldn't have it any other way. We built a threat and program data model built on decades of combined experience in multiple roles, industries, different scenarios, whatever it may be. It's real world experience, not academia. It's real world solutions for real world problems. Our technical design is architected in a way that allows our clients to customize their experience at scale. It's not going to die on the vine. It's not going to hit its threshold. We designed it to be an industry leading platform that will grow and evolve and meet every single one of our clients' expectations. I don't care where you're at today, our platform will meet you where you're at in your journey. And ultimately we'll be with you every step of the way. You may be big, you may be small, but really it doesn't even matter how mature you are. Everyone is different and deserves a personalized experience. We believe, we don't believe in marketing jargon anymore. This is one of the things we've really emphasized that we, if we're going to make everything as simple as possible, the objective was to build a platform anyone can use. This is our way of attacking the skills gap as well in the industry to leverage the technology to help our teams become smarter, focus on the right things and provide insights and recommendations that are self-explanatory. Not something that always has to be explained to them, but self-explanatory. We're going to put the keys back into your hands with self-service capabilities. We don't believe you should have to always engage in MSSP or any other security provider for that matter, whenever you need help doing something. This includes onboarding technology on your own, defining the run books for your new Spire services, or even procuring other services and technologies without someone in the middle. All of it we believe can be self-service in nature. And our focus is always going to be great on specific services and admitting when someone else does something better. All of us, providers included, are in this together. This means using our platform as a way of getting access to the services and technology you need to be successful. Think of it as a My New Spire marketplace in the future. It means making your technology investments better by taking their outputs, analyzing them together, and providing recommendations on what we see happening across your entire security stack. It's just not a point in time, pull up one piece of technology and look at it. We're looking at everything together and saying, okay, what types of insights and recommendations can we glean in a combined insight, if you will? And finally, it's your experience. I can't emphasize this enough. Ask questions, challenges. Tell us we're full of crap if you want to. But your feedback will always be used to help us evolve the platform. You're going to be our most trusted resource for our program. And we believe that we hope it will be your most trusted resource for you on a daily basis. Our vision has always been to revolutionize the cybersecurity experience. From the day that I came on board, that was our objective. Our mission is to make you fat, fanatically happy with the services that we provide and also now the platforms that we provide. And our purpose is to always help you become more secure. It's always going to be powered for by us, but always customized for you. So hopefully that leads you behind the curtain a little bit. Um, when we think about revolutionary, we're just not talking about what we showed you today, but we're giving you a glimpse into what the program is going to become. Over the next coming weeks and months, um, you, you'll start to see it evolve and grow and be enriched. Everything that we, we have always wanted as security practitioners ourselves, we're going to be building it into the platform. So what's next? Um, for takeaways, remember, this is a single pane of glass. Uh, when, when, you know, single pane of glass is one of those things in the last 20 years in the industry has got a bad name, meaning that no one has ever cracked that nut or no one's been able to do it. Well, if you don't believe that we've done it, tell me why you don't think we did it. And we'll personalize that experience for you to make sure that we overcome your idea of what a single pane of glass is. But it's in the eye of the beholder. We're going to have a pers persona based dashboard, the ability to get in and actually customize the experience. We're going to provide you actionable threat intelligence. 
We're going to give you a custom security program blueprint, and we're going to allow you to see all of your technologies into one view. All of it's going to be customized in the way that you want to see it based upon the role you have in your organization. And we are going to provide you with real time insights and recommendations. All of that out of the gate, we're allowing you to have it during an introductory period. You know, it's one of those old adages where you say, well, you know, people find more value in something that that they pay for. Well, in our case, we need to make sure that we're providing value to you before you can see value in something to actually pay for it in the future. So get in there today, poke around and ultimately, you know, give us feedback, you know, coming soon, your feedback in action. The more feedback you give us, the more recommendations, the more personal requirements that you provide, you'll start to see the the platform on a day-to-day -day basis evolve and get better and become more enriched. You'll see the concept of combined insights. So you think about everything that we have or that we know about you from a technology perspective, our ability to dissect all of those data streams to glean insights for you to take action on. We'll have organizational personas where you'll be able to go in and define a specific uh, organizational persona. If you want a board of directors persona, you can do that. If you want a procurement persona, you can do this. Whatever it may be, we're going to allow you the ability to do organizational personas. We're going to build out self-service onboarding, run books, et cetera. Our entire service and your entire experience for you with us should be self-service. And we built the platform in a way that makes us really simple very easy to understand. In fact, you can get in there today and every single tab that you go to, you'll be able to take a tour and we'll explain to you what e each feature means, what each function does, et cetera, to really help you, you basically own your program again. We're gonna have service transparency, meaning I'm, I'm a firm believer that in order for you to trust me as a service provider or trust that our security program is working effective or that our platform is working the way that it should, we are gonna provide transparency through different types of metrics and KPIs and data that give you reasonable assurance that we are holding uh, everything that you provide to us from a data perspective in, in, in safeguarding, so to speak. And then ultimately the ability to procure partner services and technologies. We are going to create a marketplace within my Newspire that allows you to work with providers that are great at what they do, in addition to the great things that we do to get great services all the way around. So ultimately, our, our objective is to take our subject matter expertise, identify those partners. So we do a lot of the work for you, best in breed in certain, certain domains and be able to allow you to procure those services and then ultimately technologies as well. You know, your technologies become out of date or antiquated, whatever it may be. We're going to make sure that you can get the technology that you need. So what's next? Like I said before, try it out and provide feedback. You know, we're constantly refining and adding new features. I would even say it's an hour by hour type scenario. Get in there, play around. If you don't see something you like, let us know. If you see something you like, let us know. If you see something that's not there, not there, let us know. We're actually one little chat uh, button away from any type of feedback that you have. So a lot of great stuff. I, I hope you guys are excited, not only about what we're rolling out today from a My Newsfire perspective, but all the other things that we have coming down the pipe in the near future uh, is really exciting. We, we really do believe that we've not only designed a platform, but built a roadmap that is, is really going to be that one-stop shop for all of your uh, cybersecurity needs, gives you a customized experience, allows you to uh, create personas and the views that you see to make sure that every day you wake up and you go into your into My Newspire, you see exactly the information you want to see. But hopefully everyone's excited. And uh, with that being said, I'll stop right there. I know there's probably quite a few questions that people have. And uh, we'll... we'll start to answer some. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Louie. There were some questions about the uh, image behind you, but I'll, we'll leave that in the parking lot. We'll, we'll keep people wondering about what's going on behind you there. Um, but some actual questions that we did have. So we had someone ask, are there new security tools or is this are these the existing tools that we've already had under a new interface? 
Well, I, I think it's it's a good question. I think it's a combination of everything. We we took the good from everywhere, meaning that there were certain data sources that we knew were extremely valuable, but there were others that were focused more on, I guess you could say, just checking a box or being um, compliant that we needed to put our own spin on it. So as an example, if you take the new Spire security program, each individual part of each domain, we actually went through the exercise and the work effort of determining based upon not only the, the, the threat actor that you have to worry about, the defenses you have in place, what, what types of in, the industry you're in to basically measure where you need to be based upon all of that taken together. So where, where we believe that we're providing value is we're bringing all of that, those data elements together into an insight that you can actually take action on versus going to disparate tools and technologies and sources of data to basically make heads or tails out of it. So we're trying to collapse it down into a very streamlined, operational, real-time, just take action type mentality. So hopefully that answered your question. Perfect. Uh, our next question, does the interface fully support multi-tenancy so that MSPs are able to view everything on a client by client basis? Yes, that is actually in development today for a lot of our partners that we have. Um, as we move forward. And I think with our clients naturally today, uh, it's multi-tenancy in nature basically to separate uh, tenants from each other or clients from each other or their data from each other. So we have it today for existing clients as we move forward. Any, any sort of partners that we have in the industry will be able to view that in, in a very segregated way as well. Perfect. And that really tees up one of our next questions. Um, are you able to comment at all on how channel partners may be able to leverage this new platform? You know, that's one of those areas we're really excited about because um, we are actually designing a partner portal within my new Spire that is built on some of the same tenants that are, ten, uh, I guess, tenets. Uh, that we're, we built the my new Spire platform on, meaning self-service. You know, we, we want to make sure that channel partners not only can uh, potentially see uh, in a variety of ways different data associated with their client base, but we also want them to be able to self-provision. We want it to be very dynamic in nature and give them all the tools and all the resources that they need in order to basically uh, run their business or engage with my or with New Spire in the way that they want to engage with us. So a lot of this stuff around partners is coming and coming soon, just so we can help our clients take advantage of our services, provide a better experience for the ind individual clients with my New Spire, and ultimately uh, uh, really change the game on that side of the coin as well. Excellent. I'm going to advance one slide, Louie, because uh, not really a question, but a comment. Someone said, I love the idea of meeting me where I'm at and my security. Sometimes it's hard for me to know how I measure up and how I should best allocate uh, my budget. Well, I'm glad that you're thinking about your budget because we have another webinar coming up on May 20th on Thursday um, that will really help address that. Helping folks think through no matter how big your budget is, whether you have one security dollar to spend or one million, or maybe somewhere in the middle, um, how you can make that dollar count. So we have that webinar as well as a presentation on the 19th um, that will talk more about our threat modeling approach. Um, and both of those are described more on the screen. Great. Well, Louie, those are the majority of questions that we do have. What would you say to folks next? What should they do next? I, I would go uh, log in, register uh, on my new Spire. Uh, we, like I said, we have a whole team of subject matter experts, experts manning any questions that you have uh, within the chat feature within the platform. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, just like I said, uh, something you don't have to charge, uh, you know, pay for today. Get in there, look at your threat model, look at your program and where it's at, how you can compare, uh, take advantage of a lot of these resources that we're making available to you and give us feedback. You know, let us know what works for you, what doesn't work for you, how we can get better. 
uh, check out. I, I'd be remiss to uh, not influence you to tr check out the services that we provide. There's a lot of uh, industry leading services that we provide to our clients today to help them become more secure and, and protect them in a better way. So by all means, check that out. If you have any questions on those, once again, we have people standing by to answer any questions that you have, but really at the end of the day that, like I've said before, and if I've gotten one thing across, we are building, uh, we are building uh, a platform that allows you to customize your experience. So get in there, test it out, let us know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And I guarantee you, if you provide us feedback, it will get better. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Louie. Thanks for your presentation, your enthusiasm. Everyone who joined us, we really appreciate your time. Go get signed up for my new Spire. Um, you have a chance to get some gifts for doing that. Um, a lot of great things in store. So thank you, and we hope you awesome. have a great day. Thanks, everyone.